and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Vicki and in today's video we're going to be going over week three check-in of March. So if that sounds something that you're interested in watching, stick around. I don't even know why I say that. Obviously you're interested in watching because you've clicked on this video. <laughs> uh, anyway, using Cara Jo plan stickers as always, going to lay down my stickers going to put down the totals, um, check in with my sinking funds that I've used for the week. So let's get at it. Okay, so for um, the week, I did spend, gosh, you know, I just need to increase the budget all the way around. This month is a five-week month for us, but it just seems like prices just keep going up and up and up, right? So um, Costco, let's see. We went on the 15th and we spent $100.89 at Costco. We also went to Grocery Outlet. At this point, I already forgot, probably on a different day because I didn't want to go to Costco. And this one was for milk and berries and then I also went to Safeway to get some um, Jim likes this keto brand yogurt that they don't sell anywhere else I cannot find it anywhere else so we went to Costco on Friday and I actually when I'm filming this I went to Costco I mean to Safeway and someone keeps buying them all out like I do so <laughs> we keep I, I don't find them. It's hard. Okay. Um, gas. Gas. I went with the Honda and put gas. Um, I've been kind of taking over the gas duties for Jim's car. So I did go on Monday. No, on Sunday. I went to Costco there. And then in the Yukon, I went and I topped off. And that was probably the same day here. Yeah, probably. And then I also went, no, that's not true. I went on Monday just to go put gas. And then I also went the following day, which was dumb, I know, but. And then, right? Let me see. I'm just looking at my 315, 315, and then 36. Oh, that's right. Okay. Nope. This is both on the same day. What happened was I went to, yeah, I went to fill up and the gas stopped. The gas thing stopped. I could have just put it all on one sticker, but whatever. And then I also put gas again on Friday. And this time I just went and put gas. That's right. Okay. All right. So that's gas. Get this out of the way. Um, dining out. Jim went. He forgot his lunch one of the days. Uh, let me just look. It was the 17th. He forgot his lunch. And so he went to Wendy's. So I'm putting that under... He should have used his personal money. <laughs> but then again, it was lunch that he had just forgotten his lunch. So, whatevs. Okay. Um, and then golf, he went on Sunday, this day. Oh, maybe he put gas that day. I don't know. It's all starting to blur together because when I'm filming this, I actually went to put gas on Sunday. On this day. All right. And then sinking funds. So we had to get an oil change on the car. And that took place on the 15th. It was actually on Monday. Jim took Monday off. And then I went, I needed some stuff at CVS. And so we're taking that out of the medical sinking fund. And that was on this day. 
and then I also did, I didn't know where to pull this from, if we should pull it from school or gifts. It is a fundraiser for my goddaughter and we made a hundred dollar donation to her school. So I just took it out of gifts, but I, I really don't know. So that was here. Actually it was 110. It was 110 because they charged us a service fee. Let me fix that. 110. Okay, let's go ahead, fill that out in a second. Let's go ahead and work on the numbers. So for groceries, we spent, let's do it on the side, I feel like there's more light. Okay, we spent 123, 43, and we were left with 316, whoops, 316, 51. So that leaves us with 193.08. 193.08. We have two weeks left, <laughs> uh, giving us an average of 96.54. We're blowing out the budget on this one. It's just plain and simple. And it was a $750 budget. So. I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> okay, for gas, we spent 174.38. We had, oops, 489.71, 174.38. That leaves us with 315.33 divided by two. That gives us an average of 158 per week. Um, we'll see how that goes. Dining out, we only spent $8.73, so that was good. Uh, so that's 174.93, 8.73. So that leaves us with a hundred and sixty six dollars and twenty cents which you know if we go over on groceries I think this is the dining out is where it's gonna save us and this is why it's good to check in because since I know I'm gonna probably be over on groceries I know that we can't go out to eat like we just can't because we need to you know fill in the cushion and honestly I don't even have a buffer in our checking account like we cannot go over on these numbers so even though I know we'll probably go over on groceries I don't know about gas we definitely can cut back on dining out unexpected it was $33 not bad uh, $234.59 take away $33 so that leaves us with $201.59 and Gosh, we'll see. We're going to cut it close this month, guys. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and total this up. We spent $339.54, a little less than our normal, what we spend week over week, um, and what we have remaining to work with. That leaves us with 876.20 divided by two that gives us an average of 438 per week so we still can go over in a couple of categories and I think we'll still be fine week over week so we'll see how we end up week three did I say we were this video was for week three it's for week two right gosh I don't even know what I'm doing no week three yeah, week three totals. When it's five weeks and I try to jam it all in one, like I don't even know why I jam it because we're still, I still have to carry it over to this next one. So that was kind of dumb on my part. Okay, let's go ahead and do the sinking funds. Um, let's see. We said car maintenance on the 14th was 231.50.
and it was an oil change for the Honda. And this also encompassed like um, power steering and something else, like lube. Uh, 316, 45, 47, medical. Um, this was at CVS, over the counter meds. And then Friday the 18th, 110. This was out of gifts. This was a fundraiser. Okay, so that is the tracker. Let's go ahead and get into the envelopes. So it's birthday slash gifts. I said it was 110, so let's go ahead. Three eighteen. Take away one one zero. Leaves us with three hundred and thirty three dollars. See what we've got here. One, two, three. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32, 33. Okay, so let's just make sure I pulled out 110, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 105, 110. Put that to the side and we are leaving with we're keeping one two three five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty two thirty three you know what why don't we switch out some of these fives we'll condense while we're doing this so three let's see five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty well at least we can get a twenty Three thirty-three in gifts. Then we gotta go to medical. And medical, what did I say? We forty-six dollars. Okay. I forgot what date. Let's see. Three sixteen. 40, I already forgot, 46. One seventy-seven. okay. So it should have 223, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, 220, 21, 22, 23. We're taking out 46, so 20, 40, 45, 46. So that leaves us with 177, 150, 75, 76, 77. All right. Let's go ahead and put that away. And then our car maintenance in this bigger one. And We had um, two thirty-two. What was the date on that? Three fourteen. Two thirty-two. Take away three ninety. That's for the overall um, car maintenance envelope. And in this specific one, we had 509, take away 232. Leaves us with 277. Okay, 
so let's count this one. This should have five, 509. One, two, three, four, 450, 470, 490, five, 505, oh, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're taking out 232. Two, two, twenty, thirty. And that leaves us with 277, 1, 2, 50, 70, 5, 76, 77. So that leaves us in car maintenance, 277. We've got to bulk this one up. And that's, you know, this is what's great about having car maintenance sinking fund is when things come up, I'm not freaking out because I have money set aside for all the different areas. Um, so let's go ahead and count how much we used in sinking funds this week, and then we'll call it a video. I pretty much, I really am enjoying doing this part of checking in week over week with our sinking funds. I don't know if you guys are finding um, it useful. I like people who count count their sinking funds, but I don't see people like using their sinking funds. So to me, um, I like it. I don't know if you do. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and count these out and see what we've got. All right, so we've got 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 3, 30, 3, 40, 50, 350, 360, 370, 80, 3, 85, 86, 87, 88, 388 in sinking funds that were used for the third week of March. All right, guys. Well, with that, stick around, come back and see if we plow through all of our <laughs> areas and where we keep track week over week. And if you found this video entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you aren't. And please go ahead and leave me a message down below and let me know what part of the video you found most useful. All right, with that, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.